Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial video we will create field setup for some room. If you didn't watch the previous tutorial video explaining fundamentals, I encourage you to watch it now to get idea what we are doing here. Ok, let's start the tutorial. First let's create field setup file, going to window, Fimpossible Creations, level design grid, field designer. And I will dock it next to Kairaki because we don't need to see Kairaki when working on field setup, so I always do it. Create new. That's room version 1. Alright, now let's hide things we don't need now. And uh, let's add first modificator. Let's hit in so we have the modificator inside the file. When you double click on a field modification field, you will open separated field mode window in which I will work on modificators because I prefer this way. This field modificator will generate walls for us. Let's call it walls and let's add first prefab and it will be my wall prefab and it will be this and let's add spawner for this wall and let's call it wall and you see it's generated on every cell but let's limit this generating to just sides and now I will show you some approach which will help you with uh, defining different rules for different objects not walls because there is quicker solution for walls but let me show you this now uh, let's add a placement rule check cell neighbors and for example we want to uh, this walls to be placed on just here on this edge it's forward so we must check if backward cell is out of grid so you see these are empty so there are created walls and now we would add transforming direct offset direct offset means it changing position of the walls accordingly to its rotation let's make it minus 0.5 and more minus 1 and it's on the edge and uh, what we would do now is add rotor checks so the same rules will be used on rotations per 90 degrees so when i hit here it's checked here and that and that but you see there are holes in these places because this spawner is running on each cell one by one only once and you see here that in this one cell there should be generated one wall here and second one here. We don't see this because, well, it's running only once. It goes to the end and, and that's all. So we would need to add like separated spawners for each side for walls, like here, 90 minus 90, and another one, 180, but checked here and also we would need to have like duplicates of direct offset but we could use global rule so this one rule is applied to every spawner in this modificator these are just examples of the features of the rules like you see this global which might be helpful for you but also there is one more thing I want to show you and this let's remove this spawner and this one and there is also this this checker button which is very important because it negates effect of the of the rule so when we negate placing uh, objects on this edge then when we negate it it places wall on every cell but note these ones we defined here. We will use this negation more later. For now let's forget about all of this because there we have rule and quick solutions which will solve all of that for us automatically. Like you see it's already set the walls. Let's go with minus one and we have set it up walls. So now when we have these walls, let's say we want to add some windows, some extensions and also fix this gap here. And let's do it first. 
and let's add new prefab and it called molding it's this okay and we will put this model in this gap and let's add spawner for this let's call it molding all right and let's add a quick solution wall placer and there we have option for corners and we have this object right here and let's rotate it a bit 45 and let's move it towards well well it's not very beautiful but it's better than nothing okay let it be like that and you see it's also on all other all our corners all right now let's add prefabs for additional stuff like window and there is window one window two more variations and extension it's this all right and now let's add windows and window well and let's call it windows and you see that there is different rotations because the rotations are inherited by previous uh, spawns but well we will use uh, again quick solutions and there is get coordinates and it will get coordinates from target spawn with some additional options and it needs tag or name but now for this tutorial we will use tags because uh, they are more more usable okay let's call wall just wall and now let's go back to windows let's get from target wall and you see it's added everywhere aligned with wall now let's unfold additional settings which is don't spawn if not tag it and you see it takes this windows in the middle of the grid uh, we could do the same with other rule which is placement if cell contains tag and let's take wall and it's the same but but this feature of this rule is built in this rule so it's more compact and there is also remove tag so it aligns window model with wall and removes previous wall all right now we don't want all walls be replaced with this window also we have two windows models to to be randomized and to make the spawner choose one window model from these two we just have to toggle this and select prefabs we want to choose from and they're randomized now what we can do is make this windows be less dense so we go with count spawning probability and it changes by random number generator how often they are spawned but also we can avoid situations like that that there are few windows next to each other by using tag window and by using rule uh, in placement distance to other cells and let's make distance to tag window to cells for example let's disable spawning probability to see everything more clearly and you see when we set one then every window is spawned per distance of one cell the letter b1 but with additional spawn probability it should look all right i think it will be like that all right there you see this dot which is for for field variables but i will tell more about that in other tutorial video all right when we have windows now let's add extension well uh, let's add spawner extension let's call it extension and maybe not maybe let's delete and let's just duplicate the same as window extension let's disable randomize and let's select our extension and let's uh, disable this and you see it's already placed we will change this tag to ext 
so short scoot of extension so now let's say uh, we want only a few of these extensions and we want more distance between them we want uh, one extension to another but well let's use name in this example so the and let's disable windows so we focus on extension uh, okay now let's say we want distance of four so there are not so many of these extensions in every every room and now maybe a bit bigger probability in procedural generation grid system order of spawners and everything is very important now we want windows to spawn in distance of one cell from extensions let's add comma for multiple tags when we first spawn windows and then extension walls then windows don't see what was spawned after them we move extension to run before windows now extension don't see windows but windows do see extensions so it can detect it so now when we have set it up this windows extension and walls let's add ceiling and floor let's add another field modification keep it inside let's call it floor and ceiling let's switch to it and let's add prefabs for floor and for ceiling all right let's add spawner for floor let's call it floor and you see here it's rotated because it it inherits rotation from latest spawn so it inherits rotation of corner molding uh, we can fix it by simply adding solution transforming rotate now the rotation is always overrided but i will use here my favorite rule which is quick solutions floor spawner it just gives some built-in features and let's do the same for ceiling let's call it ceiling with big c and let's move it up by for example two but let's switch to ceiling and i have disabled rendering of ceiling let's enable it and let's see how high it should be 3 2.5 no 2.75 okay and well let's move camera here and that's we prepared room base for for further tutorials all right if you have some questions feel free to ask in comment section subscribe or hit the bell for notifications about new videos thanks for watching and see you in next part of this tutorials Bye-bye.